Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video I've got something super exciting for you. I'm always really pumped to see new details about upcoming consoles from big gaming companies like Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. It's really cool to see what these companies are working on, and in this video I've got some new details that have just emerged about an updated Switch that could be coming next year. So what do we know so far? Well, supposedly, according to rumors that we had seen previously, Nintendo is going to be bringing the Switch 2 to market sometime in summer of 2019, but according to a new report from GR, they actually will be bringing the Switch 2 sooner than that. According to the online publication, Nintendo is aiming to release an updated Switch sooner rather than later, it could be like sometime in the spring like March or April, and it's going to be coming with some new features. Now we don't know some specific details about the Nintendo Switch, like what it's exactly going to be called, but the speculation is right now that Nintendo is going to be releasing an even slimmer model of the console handheld hybrid, and possibly include a better LCD screen for the Switch owners to use in handheld mode. The new Nintendo Switch will also likely play all the same games as the previous model, but probably allow them to run smoother and look better, especially when the Switch is removed from its docking station that hooks up to the TV. Now, Nintendo's always kind of done its own thing with its console release schedule, but if Nintendo actually did release an updated Switch next year, that would pretty much put it directly in line with Microsoft and Sony. Microsoft and Sony have both released new models of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 already. Microsoft started off with the slimmer Xbox One S, and then followed it up with the much more powerful Xbox One X, and then Sony only just released the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is a more technically impressive version of the PS4, so a new Switch with a lot of new features would be similar to both of those examples. It's also possible that Nintendo is actually going to be taking some lessons from the 3DS with the upcoming Switch. The 3DS came out in 2011, and then Nintendo came out with a bunch of new handheld models after that. First was the 3DS XL, which gave it larger screens and a higher resolution. The 2DS removed the cap 3D capabilities altogether, and then the 2DS XL had the form factor design of the 3DS XL, but didn't bother to add the 3D since people weren't using that much anyways. If the Nintendo Switch adopts kind of a similar strategy, we could basically be just seeing maybe a slightly larger screen, or maybe slightly, again, like a slightly thinner design, something to just improve on the form factor of the Nintendo Switch without altering too much of the core formula. Now the one other thing that Nintendo could be doing with the updated Nintendo Switch is something that I'm a lot less excited about. The Nintendo Switch recently launched its first online service, Nintendo Switch Online, which offers exclusive access to a collection of NES games, making it the replacement for Nintendo's backwards compatibility program in the Virtual Console, but the Switch still is only a fraction of the content that Nintendo's previous consoles had to offer. If Nintendo were to block access to some of the newer retro games that are releasing on the Switch for current Switch models, that definitely wouldn't be the greatest move, but it would move more models of the updated Switch, and it might be something that they're thinking about doing. There have been rumors that Nintendo is considering different possibilities for how to move forward with backwards compatibility. I'm really hoping that they continue to add to the retro library of the Nintendo Switch without closing closing it off for current Switch models, and to be honest, I feel like that is the more likely scenario given that the Switch still doesn't have that big of a retro library, but with that said, let me know what you think Nintendo will do in the comment section down below, let me know what features you'd like to see in a Nintendo Switch 2, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.